exactly, and Mrs. Merkel and Mr. Sarkozy are not very happy about it, particularly Mr. Sarkozy, who is now heading the G20 and to want to make a big show, it can, yeah. vis a vis Mr. Obama and the Chinese, that he was <laughs> resolving the Euro uh, debt crisis, but yeah. now he has to apologize to them for having uh, all these things uh, in the air, because the agreement of October 26 is in the air yeah. until the Greek people give an answer as to whether the Greek uh, chapter of the agreement uh, proceeds. So they ha we have put our partners and friends into an extremely embarrassing situation to no purpose, because if the government uh, feels it, uh, it, cannot, uh, it cannot govern, then it should call, call early elections, as Mr. Zapatero has done. You said no purpose, but then why did Mr. Papandreou call for a referendum? Because he did, doesn't want to leave office uh, and uh, through, uh, through early elections, because uh, PASOK is very much behind Nea Democratia in the okay. polls, because he preferred this kind of re-legitimization mm -hmm. the, the, rather than the conventional one which is early elections. I could be in, very much in favor of early elections because I believe that the people of Greece must have a say over their future, but not through that such an unfortunate uh, decision as a referendum is likely to prove. Is to there be. a chance that he will change his mind and there will not be a referendum? Uh, he may not change his mind. I find this uh, rather unlikely because he has co committed uh, himself very strongly to this idea. He's his baby, so to speak. But I don't think that he will find enough votes in the parliament to proceed with this. So I would find it as very, very unlikely that this decision is actually and effectively implemented. I do hope that it is not implemented, but besides what I hope, uh, this is my objective prediction and uh, the prediction of most observers here in Athens today. As the man who was finance minister who took Greece into the Euro, yes. is it even possible that Greece will have to leave the Euro? Is it even remotely Look, <coughs> legally it is impossible, as it you is, know, because yes. there's no clause in the treaty yeah. allowing this. But of course, in very dire conditions, if there is a huge financial crisis affecting Greece and perhaps the Eurozone, Nobody could exclude any such thing happening. The point is not to arrive at this stage. Right. And the way to uh, not to arrive at this stage is to have as soon as possible a strong and effective government. If you look out on this beautiful city, the sun setting Indeed. over the Acropolis. Could you imagine that Athens and Greece would be in this situation today? No, I would never imagine that. Uh, after uh, the um, uh, entry of the Euro, as you know, in the, the year 2000, the Greece entered into a period of very strong growth, 4% growth, very low inflation, very low interest rates. And of course, the mistake was made by, in fact, no, I would say the Greek society and also the Spanish society and the Portuguese society and all those southern economy societies, that life will be easy within the Euro, although this was not actually the case. Mm. And unfortunately, irresponsible governments came into power uh, after 2004, which cultivated the sense in the people, and we arrived at this very dire uh, state we find ourselves today. So uh, this, uh, the post-Euro era was essentially a lost decade for Greece, mm -hmm. and now in the course of the next few months or one or two years, we have to recover the lost ground.